My name's uh, Professor Jonathan Napier. I'm uh, Associate Director here at Rothamsted Research and uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how we've been using genetic engineering to try and make a sustainable source of fish oils in GM plants. Everybody knows fish oils are good for us. They're really an important component of our diet. The problem is that fish oils are a diminishing natural resource and we're trying to develop an alternative sustainable terrestrial source of these important nutrients. And so in this video, we're going to show you how we've gone about trying to make these fish oils in our GM Camelina. The start of our journey begins with marine microalgae. These little organisms are responsible for making all the fish oils that accumulate in our oceans. What we have to do is isolate the genes that make these omega-3 fish oils from the microalgae and introduce them into our plants. We isolate the DNA from the algae, which are making the fish oils, and purify the DNA so we can introduce it into our GM plants. We use a technique called the polymerase chain reaction, or PCR, to amplify the specific algal genes that we want to introduce into our GM plants. The specific algal genes we amplify using the PCR reaction are then isolated on an agarose gel which separates the individual DNA fragments by electrophoretic charge. We can visualize the individual DNA fragments under UV light and then we can physically isolate the gene by extracting it from the gel. The individual DNA fragments are then purified and cloned into a vector which allows us to introduce them into agrobacterium, a natural soil-borne bacteria that introduces DNA into plants. The bacteria containing our algal genes grow overnight and we can pick the colonies that contain these algal genes and grow them in liquid culture to help us move them into our plants. The liquid culture is grown overnight in a shaker and the following morning the culture is thick and contains our algal genes ready to be introduced into our camelina plants. To introduce the algal genes into camelina we just have to dip the flowers of our plant into the bacterial solution. The bacteria we're using here is agrobacterium which naturally transfers genes from itself into plants. Having dipped the plants in the agrobacterium solution we let them set seed and the plants grow on in the greenhouse. When they've set seed, we can identify the seeds that have been genetically engineered by looking for a red fluorescent protein that we introduced as part of our engineering. But we can check that they really do have the fish oils by running them on this instrument, which is a gas chromatograph, to look at the fatty acid profile of our seeds compared to regular non-GM camelina plants. The GC runs the fatty acid profile of the different camelina plants and from this trace you can see that the wild type camelina does not contain any of the fish oils that we've engineered into our GM camelina plants. The large peaks that you only see in the genetically modified forms are the specific fatty acids, these omega-3 fish oils that we've been trying to engineer into our plants. And so we can now say that we've successfully engineered the accumulation of fish oils in our GM Camelina plants. And we've grown many thousands of these plants in our glass houses here at Rothamsted to give us enough oil to do a salmon feeding trial with our colleagues at the University of Stirling. And more recently, we've planted our GM Camelina seeds here at Rothamsted to see how the crop will perform under field conditions.